After these things I heard, as it were, a great voice of great multitudes in the heaven, saying, Hallelujah, salvation and glory, power belong to our God, for true and righteous are his judgment. For he has judged the great harlot, her that the corrupt earth with fornication, and he has avenged the blood of his servant at her hand. And a second time they say, Hallelujah, and her smoke goeth up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and four living creatures fell down and worshipped God that sitteth on the throne, saying, Amen, hallelujah. And a voice came forth from the throne, saying, Give praise to our God, all ye his servants, ye that fear him, the small and the great. And I heard as it were the voice of great multitudes, as the voice of many waters, and the voice of mighty thunder, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, Almighty reign. Let us rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Let us give the glory unto him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. And it was given unto her that he should array herself in fine linen, bright and pure. From the fine linen is the righteous acts of the saints. And he saith unto me, Right blessed are they that are forbidden to marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true words of God. And I fell down before his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it now. I am the fellow servant with thee and with thy brethren that hold the testimony of Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of the prophecy. And I saw the heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he sat therein called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doeth judge and make war. And his eyes are a flame of fire, and upon his head are many diadems, and he has none written which no one knoweth but he himself. And he is arrayed in garments sprinkled with blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which are in heaven followed him upon the white horse, clothed in fine linen, white and pure. And out of his mouth proceedeth a sharp sword, that with it should smite the nations, and he should rule with them with a rod of iron. He traded the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of God, the Almighty, and he has on him garment and his thigh and name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the birds that fly in the midst mid of heaven, Come and be gathered together unto the great supper of God, and ye may eat the flesh of the kings, and the flesh of the captains, and the flesh of the mighty men, and the flesh of the horses, and of them that sit therein, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, and small and great. And I saw the beasts, and the kings of the earth, and the armies gathered together to make war against him that sat upon the horse and against the army and the beast was taken with him the false prophets that wrought the sigh in his sight wherewith he deceived them and had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image that they too were cast alive into the lake of fire that burneth with brimstone and the rest were killed with the sword of him that sat upon the horse even the sword which came forth out of his mouth, and all the birds were filled with their flesh. This was the book of Revelations, chapter 19.